We continue our team coverage today of watching this weather situation. And we're going to go right back to the Crown Point Apartments because we have someone live there right now. Scotty K has arrived on scene there showing us the damage. And Scotty K, it really is remarkable. I guess things are slowly being cleaned up behind you. There is some progress being made. Yes, Amy, lots of progress being made out here. You took over Julie's spot. We took over Dan and Jason's spot. We are out here at Crown Point Apartments, and uh, you got an inside look there at one of the units here, just the amount of damage done. We actually just caught up with some folks who live here. This is Dietrich. Dietrich, tell us what you saw, what you heard uh, when this all came through. Just tell me uh, what was going on in your mind. I was laying down on the couch, and then I just uh, hear this roar, and it sounded like a million lions roaring at one time. And so when I got up, I looked out my window and I actually seen trees being plowed down and debris going past my window. What was going through your mind at this moment? I called my, my daughter. She was in the uh, room. And she, so I called her name. I screamed her name and I told her, go to the bathroom. And so she can go in the bathroom and get down in that bathtub. And it was just, it was the whole building just shook. But it luckily, was, you guys are okay. Yes. Have you yes, we have are. you talked with your neighbors, checked on them to make sure they're okay? Yes, I have. I actually had to help this elderly woman over to the office because she was in a walker and she couldn't walk that well. So I had to actually, and it was flooding. So I helped her over to the office because that's what I do. You know, I, I love to help people. I do. All right. I well, do. thank you for doing that. We've got a lot of people out here helping right now. You can probably hear the chainsaws. And as Dan uh, mentioned earlier, there are lots of crews out here uh, checking. There are power lines all over the road. They're telling us not to get near these power lines. Even if they're not on the road, do not touch any lines that you see because they could be energized. Uh, but, of course, we've got these crews out here working to cut up all these trees. You see them. Uh, they're, you can see where the roof back here is um, torn up. Where this tree, of course, some limbs fell here. We've got cars over here that are crushed from trees falling. Uh, just lots and lots and lots of damage. We've got dozens of people probably impacted by this storm. Uh, their homes, of course, impacted. Their cars, no way to get to work. Check out this right here. We've got a car right here. This tree is laying on top of. Uh, bad news for this person today. Uh, but we are so thankful to know, uh, well, according to Obviously, neighbors out here, folks who live out here and are checking on each other. No serious injuries to report. I have heard that a few people were taken to the hospital out of precaution, but nothing major. So we are very grateful for that. We're going to stay out here because, of course, this is one of the, the hardest hit areas over here on the west side of Spartanburg. We've seen lots of damage from Westgate Mall, uh, WOE Zell, and Blackstock, but Powell Mill Road seems to be the place. This road is completely blocked off. So, again, if you are planning to come out here, if this is part of your commute, Find an alternate route. Both sides of the road have been blocked as crews work continuously to get this damage out of here. Uh, for now, I'll, I'll toss it back to you, Amy. All right, so Scotty K, you know, the, those folks have an option tonight. If their roof is gone, there is a shelter now open at Covenant Baptist Church in Spartanburg. Do they know that? Are people there aware that they have somewhere to go if they need a place to stay tonight? So we've, our job here is to inform them, and we are working on letting those folks know. And when we okay. see that has been impacted, of course, we will uh, give that news to them so that they know they don't have to worry about a place to stay. Of course, it is still raining out here, and a lot of folks are getting soaked. They don't have a ride. They don't have a way to get out. So we'll let them know that um, that is another form of shelter as their homes are being repaired. Amy. All right. Scotty K., what, what a situation. Thank you for showing us. What is happening out there in Spartanburg? Very bad damage. Gordon, of course, we've been keeping an eye on this. Our, our team all morning long, I mean, for hours and hours, watching this weather story unfold. And it's really heartbreaking when you see it impacting families. I, I'm glad you said that. You know, while you were talking to Scotty Kay, in the background behind her, and I don't know if you could see it there, there's somebody walking with it with a trash bag in their hand. Yeah. And you have to wonder, after you've seen the damage Dan Bickford showed us inside, people's completely destroyed uh, homes inside their apartments. Yeah. That trash bag may just be what they could salvage to get out of there today. I mean, people are not That's only true. losing almost everything they have here, but as you put it, Amy, people have got to go find a place to sleep tonight. I mean, yeah. it, it is a real disaster for who knows how many people in that apartment complex today.